this video, you'll be able to identify the inverse relationship between pressure and volume and solve problems relating to Bowles' law. B O C A B U L A R Y. Vocabulary. Boyle's law simply states volume and pressure are inversely proportional under constant temperature. The equation that we use to represent Boyle's law is P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2, where P is pressure and V is volume. Did you know, according to Boyle's law, underwater bubbles increase in size as they rise to the surface? We know that as we go deeper underwater, pressure will increase. Therefore, the bubbles rise to the surface and pressure decreases. Accordingly, volume will increase as pressure decreases. When we talk about Boyle's law, we got to remember that we're keeping a constant temperature. That being said, as we increase the volume of our gas, the pressure will decrease due to the inverse relationship. Let's take a look at a couple pictures to help us understand Boyle's Law. Let's look at Container 1. Container 1, we'll just say, has a base volume and a base pressure. Now let's see in Container 2 what happens when we increase volume. As you notice, the particles are more spread out which means that pressure has decreased. This is a slide of Boyle's Law. This slide shows up the graph trend of Boyle's Law. Notice, when we start at 1 atm of pressure, the volume is 12 liters. When we move to 2 atm of pressure, the volume now at 6 liters. So as you increase the pressure, as you move from left to right on the x-axis, the y-axis actually decreases. Now let's do a practice problem integrating the principle of Boyle's Law. This problem states that a sample of gas has a volume of 6 liters and a pressure of 2 atm. If the gas pressure is increased to 4 atm, what will the new volume be? We know that the equation that we're going to use is P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. Reading the problem, we can identify that our first pressure will equal 2 atm. Our first volume will equal 6 liters. Our second pressure will equal 4 atm, and we need to solve for our second volume. Now plugging in our values, we have 2 atm times 6 liters equals 4 atm times volume 2. Isolating our variable, then solving our arithmetic, we see that volume 2 equals 3 liters.